Welcome to NorthCentralPA.com. My name's Emma Downey. And I'm Aaron James. And this is The Rewind. And now it's time for the good, the bad, and the ugly. This week for the good. The staff at Melito Sub Shop in Williamsport got a sweet surprise this weekend, $1,000. Inspired by a TikTok challenge, eight-year-old Giovanni Delomo raised money so he could give the staff the big tip. It's a lot better than the Tide Pod challenge. And for the bad, a Williamsport woman claims she and her sons were subjected to, quote, cruel and sadistic treatment by the Williamsport police and seeks $2 million in compensatory damages. According to her lawyer, police officers allegedly tore apart furniture, broke beds into pieces, ripped a thermostat off the wall and pried open a circuit breaker. They also broke household appliances, left food stuff open, and dumped the contents of cabinets into the shower stalls. And now for the ugly. The Department of Environmental Protection issued a cease and desist order to Nicholas Meats in Loganton after a recent inspection ordering the plant to stop spreading food processing residuals on snow-covered fields. Nicholas Meats issued a statement saying the cease and desist order will force the plant to temporary shut down until the weather changes. What are food processing residuals? According to the DEP, they are, quote, an incidental organic material generated by processing agricultural commodities for human or animal consumption. Oh, so cow guts? Yeah, cow guts. And now it's time to break it down on the rewind. Pennsylvania State Police flew to Connecticut to transport homicide suspect Tracy Ray Rollins Jr., 28, of Dallas, Texas, back to the Lycoming County Airport. Now extradited, Rollins faces a felony charge of homicide of former model Rebecca Landreth and a misdemeanor of abuse of a corpse in Union County where he was denied bail. Joy Thai Cuisine is spreading joy to Lewisburg this March. The Williamsport-based Thai food restaurant is opening a new location on North 10th Street near the Giant in Lewisburg. It's been 16 years since Center County District Attorney Ray Gricar told his live-in girlfriend he was taking off work and went for a drive. That was the last time anyone heard from him. No one knows to this day what happened to the 59-year-old DA who was getting ready to retire just eight months from the time of his disappearance. Luckily, former Montour County District Attorney Bob Buner, a friend of Gricar, is making sure his friend's case does not go cold. Check out the full story on our website. The Dollar Tree located along the Golden Strip in Williamsport is temporarily closed. How come? The temporary closure will allow the store to make its big move. To where? Across the street. Okay. Millennials will now be able to buy houses thanks to a new affordable addition to Dunkin' Donuts menu. Avocado toast for just $2.99. The company announced the addition of grilled cheese melts along with additional spring drink items. Yum, guess I'm going to Dunkin'. And that's a wrap for this week's Rewind. Don't let these few sunny days trick you because March looks to be bringing us more snow next week. Don't put your sweaters away just yet. Thanks for watching. You're doing everything you can to keep you and your family safe as the COVID-19 outbreak continues to affect our daily lives. Wearing a mask, washing your hands, and physical distancing. But there's one more thing you can do that's staying engaged in your health care. At UPMC, we are ready to treat you safely, either in person or through video visits. Remember, we're here for you now more than ever.